Hello everyone. Um, we're going to continue learning about fables today and I noticed that some of you had a chance to read some of the fables that are on the Epic website. Um, one of them was The Boy Who Cried Wolf. That's an ex excellent one to read and I want you to focus on trying to figure out what you think the message of the story is or the lesson of the story. And when we start getting back into more writing, the phrase we're going to be using to describe that is the main idea. Now with fables, the main idea is often called the moral of the story. So we're going to be doing some writing and reading maybe later um, next week or later this month where we're going to be focusing on trying to identify the main idea of a piece of writing or of your piece of writing, making sure your own writing has a main idea. But for today, we're going to read a very short fable. And then I want you to comment below the video, not on YouTube, but on Edsby to tell me um, what you think the moral of this story is. It's a really short one and it's called The Dog and His Bone. And this is the picture from the book. You can see kind of a jaunty looking dog wearing a top hat. It's kind of funny. A dog carrying a bone looked over the edge of the bridge and saw his own reflection in the water below. Look at that dog, he thought. Why the bone he's carrying looks much bigger than mine, juicier too and full of meat. If only I could have that bone as well. If I bark as loud as I can, maybe that will scare him into dropping his bone and running away. But as he opened his mouth to bark, his own bone fell with a splash into the river, leaving the foolish dog with nothing at all. Hmm. And at the bottom of this fable, it tells me what the moral is, but I'm not going to tell you what the moral is. I want to see if you can figure out what do you think um, this fable is trying to teach you? What do you think the important message is? What do you think um, the main idea is? You know what? Since it's so short, I might read it one more time. Um, and remember that the dog in the picture, it shows that the dog is looking into the water. So I want you to think... Is there really a dog in the water with another bone? Are there two dogs? Hmm. Why does the dog think that he would like to have that bone? All right, let's read it one more time. The dog and the bone. A dog carrying a bone looked over the edge of the bridge and saw his own reflection in the water below. Look at that dog, he thought. Why the bone he's carrying looks much bigger than mine, juicier too and full of meat. If only I could have that bone as well. If I bark as loud as I can, maybe that will scare him into dropping his bone and running away. But as he opened his mouth to bark, his own bone fell with a splash into the river, leaving the foolish dog with nothing at all. 